Good morning. It's uh, Monday, March 23rd. Uh, time for some uh, everyday thoughts for this week. I hope that your weekend was good and if you church was involved in uh, online streaming or tape things, go back and look to it. You know, what a real blessing because this is an opportunity just to replay the things of God's truth and they're right there in front of you. So take advantage of this blessing. And this kind of, it does, it brings me to the topic I want to address today. As the news goes on about what the Congress is going to do or not do, as the virus thing drags on, as we become, some of us uh, interested in breaking out of cabin fever or whatever it may be, or being frustrated with why is, why is the government acting the way that it does, or we're concerned about the sickness that's out there, maybe our hearts in some ways are longing for what we call ordinary days, back when things were meh, more, we think, more predictable. But in God's economy, in God's world, there are no ordinary days. Paul reminds us, in, as he closes out the book of Colossians in chapter 4, he says, be wise in the way that you act towards outsiders, making the most of every opportunity. Again, Paul is not making a suggestion here or a devotional, inspirational reading or thought. He is saying, make the most of every opportunity, both to impact those who are outside the faith and also those who are inside. Why This opportunity, every day that you and I live is an opportunity to honor God. The only reason that I'm surviving right now, and you hear me this a lot, say a lot, but I'm going to keep on making the point. The only reason I'm going to finish this video or even this next sentence is because God is purposely choosing to give me my next breath. How dependent am I on Him? Hmm? That's pretty dependent. So what am I going to do with these next moments that God gives to me to bring honor to Him? Is that ordinary or is that special? Do I deserve to have my next breath? I don't know. If, if, if you're looking at me, I'm looking at me, no way do I have deserve that. But God has given me this because not because I'm special, not because I'm great, but because He wants me to be engaged in things that will bring honor and glory to Him. You see, that's, that's special. It might even be construed as extreme, but we serve and love an extreme God. He's extremely gracious. He's extremely abounding in love. He is extremely forgiving. He is extremely faithful. And he gives you and me opportunities every moment of every day to show his greatness in a world that desperately needs him. So you see, in that sense, there really no are there really are not any ordinary days. Only days that we have the opportunity to show God's goodness. And God calls you and me to make the most of that opportunity. The most. So in your day-to-day -day encounters with life, especially now that we're kind of encountering each other at, it's funny, we're supposed to have social distancing, but if you're in a family, all you see is the social things that you want to be distanced from. No disrespect to anybody meant by that. God calls us to be making the most of this opportunity to serve him. This is a special time. Don't long for something in the past. Long to make today special, to make the most of this opportunity, to make Jesus Christ special to yourself and to those that you love and to those who are outside the faith that are saying, wow, how is this person being sustained? And that gives you a beautiful opportunity to say, I'm being sustained by this extreme God who loves me and gives me every breath so that I can make the most of the opportunity he gives me this day. Think about that for today. You have a great day. Uh, keep in touch. Thanks so much for your encouragement, comments, uh, subscriptions. We'll be back tonight with some everyday thoughts. Lord bless you and keep you this day. Keep your focus on his faithfulness. Have a great day. Bye-bye.